All right, all right. Remember, guys, a small video about Echo B sensor. So I got this guy, uh, one guy connected to this guy, and this guy is not connected. It was kind of finicky, and I decided to take it apart. So today is the day when we are taking apart this little QT sensor. Hey, that's pretty simplistic housing. Let me kind of zoom it in. And looks like over here we have another connection uh, point. And, um, and this one, is, I guess, is the one, right? Yeah. So this barcode or QR code actually corresponds to the, this one. So you scan this one, put the battery in, close it up. I didn't know that, just notice after. I also love this uh, CR2477 and I have CR2450s here, which is as wide but not as thick. So this is pretty cool. I didn't know that such thing even exists. So now let me think how will you take this apart. Obviously it looks like in the, on the back here there is no way to take it apart. So you have to attack it from the front. And there's a little, little some notch here. So you're gonna use this notch to start our attack. Oh, it was kind of a little bit overzealous here. It's all kind of snapped together, so that's cool. Let me use this plastic thing because I almost broke it. That was easy. That was fairly easy. So, oh, that's super easy. Let me fix this little here. Looks like I bend it out of alignment, actually. Hmm. I'll fix that. Okay, cool. What do we have here? Let me zoom in even more. Okay, talky. So let's talk about what we have. So first of all, over here there's a big and nice pure sensor. Mm -hmm. So we have pure sensor, we have big chip over here, smaller IC right here, U3 is probably voltage regulator, and U4 is um, external memory. Looks like the board is riveted to the um, here to the chassis, so I wouldn't be like if you want to kind of there's no screws, this this plastic rivet, so I would like to have, have to pull it apart. I would have to kind of. And rip it off and then somehow to secure it back on. Interesting. <clears throat> Alrighty, my friends, I did some investigation and figured out the following things and some things I could not figure out for sure. The heart of the operation is CC1312. This is Texas Instrument Simple Link 32 bit ARM Cortex um, MF4 wireless MCU, which is pretty cool. And this guy is, let me add here sub 1 gigahertz so that means this this guy does not support bluetooth wi-fi and things like that it uses proprietary protocol or some of the whole um, some of the protocols which i'm not really familiar with but which are 6 l o w pen amazon sidewalk miotti and Y Sound Wireless M Bus IEEE 802.15.4. That's pretty cool, but and maybe even something proprietary. Maybe we'll figure out one day what is this, what kind of protocol it uses, but definitely out the side the scope of this video. So, next interesting gentleman here is this guy right here. So, this one is has markings air. 80 or OX 13 or uh, 130 A8 
have no idea what it is. I did some research here and there, couldn't figure out. The only thing I get close is microprocessor supervisory circuit, which monitors for voltage and then if voltage is lower than that specific threshold does particular operation like for example colon reset or shutdown or something uh, after some delay of time to the microprocessor maybe the next one is this guy right here is a it has marking to cti tlv8802 turn out to be this is tlv8802 a operational amplifier it's very um a pro operational amplifier probably needed to op uh, to work with this peer sensor potentially yeah uh, that's I th honestly i thought this is eprom but turned out to be no maybe this guy is an eprom who knows but i couldn't find any kind of a clear answer if this is eprom or not then we have another little guy right here which is clearly over here which is one has markings one r8 and then 301. Judging by the placement and the contacts where it goes, it looks like it is LDO, but again, phew, have no idea. It's I could not find anything. I spent a lot of time. This is um, um, small, teeny tiny package, SOT23, I think, uh, five pins, have no idea. So the next one is the most interesting, probably, or second most interesting, is SFG. And then uh, it, it says here SFG, and the bottom here it says, right here, it says 406B. Turn out to be, this is Zlog made to ZFSG 223611 pyroelectric sensor. So <laughs> this turned out to be 4, 406B is just a lot number. Could be the same problem here. Like uh, some of these numbers can be a lot number. Some of these numbers can be a lot number or like date code. So like it's really hard to tell, but anyways. So this gentleman is Zilog Mate ZSFG 223611 pyroelectric sensor. Very, very nice. That's pretty much it. I don't want to rip the board out because at the back probably it has just a battery terminal and that's pretty much it. So um, I think this is kind of it. It's uh, the, the, but the, the, I, th I, th I think I have an answer to my question. And my question was humidity sensor and answer is fat no unfortunately so i thought this guy would have a humidity sensor but it does not have it pure sensor and temperature temperature can be measured by per sensor by the way i believe so because i do not see any dedicated thermal sensor unless again this guy is it because i have no idea what is it or thermal sensor is somewhere on the back so potentially well i don't know how hard it would be to just i think i need to like cut this off because i do not see any thermal specific sensor all right maybe uh, yeah i don't know there are transistor here of a sword, yeah, two resonators. Mm -hmm. Rodos 2, Gamma 1, whatever it means. Diode. Yeah, there is not many markings of uh, every element or so, so I really can't say. Yeah, I really cannot say if there is a thermal sensor here, but this is clearly an antenna mount. So if I, if this one, all right, this is our antenna right here. Okay. So to talk to the, and actually pretty cool. It's done like this, it wraps around the board and it's also um, plastic riveted. Oh, maybe not. Oh no, it's not. It's actually just sitting here. Right, and it has also the neodymium magnet here, right here, just for to, to keep this little base connected. Yeah, there is no magnet here, magnet is here. Right, so let me put this back on. Which is not that straightforward it turned out to be.
Okay. Yep. And still, quest to find the thermal sensor probably would take some time. Yeah. Yeah. But for now, I think that's pretty much it. And definitely, there is no humidity here, which is big sucks. At, I don't think it worse would be worse much. For me personally, I don't understand the um, the, pres the the occupant sensor here. So if you have several floors and you have occupant sensor, someone on the f on uh, in the basement, and it's like chilly in the basement, and okay, you program you think to, okay to bring the temperature up to twenty degrees in the basement. Upstairs, this would be like scorching hot, which is kind of stupid, right? So I don't know, unless you can use this thing as a security thing, but if you want to use this device as a security device to monitor if someone presents when they're not supposed to be, you have to pay extra for the security subscription, which is, which is again kind of stupid because the simple app, this thermostat, would easily notify you some, for something like that. Yeah, of course, MoneyGraph. All right, guys. Uh, but and nevertheless, this thing is pretty cool and cute. Really nice to see. Uh, it's not some kind of Chinese device, but uh, Texas Instrument uh, MCU used as a main wireless controller here and driving the um, wireless communication protocol. Very, very nice. I think that's gonna be pretty much it. I thought that's pre pretty much as far as I can go with steering down. I'm gonna put it back together, connect it, and then gonna be it. So in order to put it back together, we probably have to just, I think, oh yeah, let's take a look at the, la oh shit, orientation. I think orientation is like this. So uh, very interesting um, infrared lens right here. You, you, you see, it's kind of cool looking. It has this, this whole bunch of like um, Fresnel lens effect um, lines. So they create the Fresnel lens effect. Um, on here and this part it's I uh, hope you hope you see it looks one way like um, one kind of pattern and the bottom part has different pattern and this corresponds to the bottom of the sensor so clearly it has different uh, patterns um, of uh, let's say when the infrared lights coming from all this area is going to be probably more looking for people and from this area, I'm not really understand why they are different, but it's probably just to differentiate between top and the bottom. And uh, yeah, probably this is designed probably for uh, more uh, robust uh, person detection versus like cats and dogs and things like that. That's the only thing I can I can guess. But let's put it. Let's continue to put this together so it has only four clips in the perimeter so if you want to open this yourself don't be overzealous as I am because I broke those two here now they don't really come together as nicely but it's it's not a problem yeah just like that you see now it's just gonna be like this all the time so I have to either glue it or just didn't pay attention all right so now I have to put the battery back in this look that's super easy to to open you know what let me just pull it out and let's see let's try to add let's try to add um, another sensor to my thermostat okay let's add the sensor smart sensor let's get started I think this you can even scan through this little guy okay all right so let's just Plop the battery, I'll lock it up. And just wait, looks like it's not really connected. Maybe this guy's busted. That'll be kind of hilarious. That is gonna take. It, it took actually way faster with this little guy to connect. All right. Looks like uh, my thermostat. Sorry, thermostat sensor was actually finally added, and this one gonna be used for upstairs. A bit broken, but doesn't matter. It works. Who cares, right? As now we know what's inside this little guy. Okay. Cool. Um. 
definitely gonna uh, post a little bit more photos of this stuff like uh, on my website and guys it's gonna be pretty probably it um, we quench thirst of our uh, knowledge so yep we have this little cute sensor completely turned down then put back together and it works again a little bit mangled but this is typical side effects of this stuff being torn down so guys please don't forget to subscribe uh like the video comment we'll be happy to hear from you stay tuned for more videos stay safe and ciao